fried chicken, 100% vegan, and apparently the world's first of this kind. Where else would you expect to find such a thing than in the hipster hub of Hackney? The Temple of Hackney replicates the taste of fried chicken using a wheat gluten called seitan. The opening weekend was hugely popular with scores of people queuing in the rain to sample some seitan snacks. It does actually taste like chicken. Like it tastes, tastes better than chicken. <laughs> Most vegans go vegan not because they don't like the taste of meat. They do it because they, you know, they see what happens to animals, they see what's happening to the environment, they see what it does to your health, like, and I guess it's kind of, well, you know, when you balance all those things up, some people think that, I mean, it's not really worth it. Although some locals may still be trying to fathom the idea, the success of the restaurant is undeniable. I signed the lease, and then the next day in the daylight when we're coming around, I was like, oh my God, it's a butcher. <laughs> but, you know, it's fine. People kind of get a kick out of it, and it's interesting, so we're just kind of going with it at this point. The month of January has become known as Veganuary, and the chicken substitute is also proving popular with non-vegans. I've been vegan for one year and my friend is too and we brought two of our non-vegan friends to try it as well. It's, it's the best vegan food I've tasted so far. And one thing we're finding is that there isn't enough vegan places so when we go out to eat, Kieran can't eat and then he just has to get a salad and then we yeah. feel sorry for him. So now, taking him into consideration, we're going to vegan places. That's love. Real love. Seitan snacks are firmly on the menu in Hackney and given the success of the restaurant, we may see more temples springing up all over the country. Trina John-Charles, Hackney, ELL+.